God, that's ridiculous. You're such a damn baby. <laughs> Take your time, Grandma. <laughs> if I drip blood on this shag, can we change Would you this? stop calling it shag? He thinks this is shag carpet. Grandma, what is it? It's not shag. Thank you. It's like a high-low medium pile. Yeah. <laughs> well, scoot those. Sh sh turn sideways. Turn sideways. No, other side. Put your butt that way. No, no. <laughs> Put your butt towards the door. Oh, no. Yeah, you're in frame. <laughs> no. Hook a brother up. <laughs> I cut myself on the quick release. Look at that. You can see my bone. Would you shut up? You get them cookies baked for me yet? <laughs> oh, damn. Look, we stuck both sides to each other. Don't you even have <laughs> And this is the good ones. I got some good ones. Yeah, those those feel good. They okay. feel quality. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Get off my hand! Come in low. <clears throat> Wolf Tick. Well, Wolf Tick Nation. I'm here to tell you that we have been getting tons of questions <laughs> about what is Jeremiah's favorite bike. What's my what, favorite bike? What's your favorite bike? You guys have tested 26, 27 bikes, whatever it is at this point, and everyone keeps saying, what is his favorite, what is your favorite bike? What is his favorite bike? But what we decided to do is we're going to take your favorite five hardtails that we've ever tested. Favorite five hardtails. The top five. We're going to go through the list. We've hey, got the board ready. Board is blank. So we're going to go through the top five hardtails that the Tick has enjoyed the most to date. Yes. And one honorable mention. And one honorable okay, One that yeah. didn't make the five, but it's an honorable mention. Now these are all hardtails ranging from 27 yeah, so to 29. Yeah, so we're not going to hear anything about the <clears throat> ledge or anything about the, the any of the susp full suspension bikes. No. Just the hardtails. I've got my list We're more right of a hardtail. We're hardtail people anyway. Yes. But Yeah, we're yeah, going to spend I, a little bit of time on each bike. And we'll, do, about, we'll do a few comparisons here and there mm -hmm. and pros and cons. Yes. You guys feel free to get in the comments and say how much you agree or disagree I'm with I'm curious. I'm probably going to get some hate. You're probably going to get some hate. I imagine <clears throat> because no matter what you say or do, people are going to be like, oh yeah, but. Yeah. And that's what's great about this. The first bike that is on the roundup of the, uh, well, the budget bike. Is this number five? Coming in at Cinco. number five will be the Schwinn Ascension. Oh, okay. 29er. Okay. okay. And the we sauce. got that bike from Target. It's the sauce, baby. We, we, that was, that bike is one of my favorites based on the, the memories I have of going to get that bike. Yes. Very cool. Uh, that was one of our little road trips uh, by ourselves, a 29-inch Ascension. Uh, it's one of my favorite bikes because I think out of the box or you know out of the store, that's one of the best-looking bikes it, that it I think we have on the channel. Look. Such it has a good-looking bike. It has a great look. It's a cool bike. It's a it's a good bike if you're gonna ride it for a little bit and upgrade it slowly. And mm -hmm. and I mean, is it the best bargain or bang for the buck? No, it's not. It's really not even that. I wouldn't say it's even on the top ten list if it were best bang for the buck. Yeah. But looks and 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 just the, it has such a cool build quality it, to it. And it, it's that a, bike turns heads. Is what's crazy. Uh -huh. Every time we took that bike out, we're like, well, what, what is that? Everybody everybody thought it was a Trek Roscoe until they saw the Schwinn on the side uh, with the color variations. And what's really cool about that bike is it has internal routed. It's ready for some internal routing, and it's a one by. You know that bike yeah. is a very cool bike. Now me being five five, it is a little big for me. But all um, twenty nine is a little big. Yeah, for you. it doesn't. It doesn't feel like skyscraper. You know, I have this thing when I'm doing the real time reviews. I call it a big bike or a skyscraper bike. The Schwinn Taff over there, that is a skyscraper bike. It has I am feel up being there. Really yeah. up there. Yeah, I'm up there. The Schwinn Ascension, it doesn't really feel like a skyscraper bike, but I know there's a lot of people out there that ride them, and everybody always looks forward to the upgrading um, of that bike because it does have the one bike, makes it a little bit easier. Um, it does have a tapered head tube, and I want to say it was like a seven speed. I don't know if it was a yeah, seven. I think it was, it was a seven, seven speed in the beginning. So. Trigger shifters, very cool looking bike. And what was neat was we got from Target. It wasn't a Walmart bike, and although it's the same, you know, Schwinn, but it was just kind of cool, you know. And it was one of those bikes. I think we were one of the first ones to review. Yeah, we. I think we were the first. I mean, any channel that does reviews that to yeah. review one, which was nice to be the first. But uh, then some of the other downsides it has that people have mentioned is something about the way the routing comes out for the yeah, the routing. Or yeah, the routing. 
does come out a little weird at the it's like where the crank where the yeah, cranks are the instead of it being it holes it's like just a flat piece of metal so it looks like they got a little lazy there but you know yeah, it's it is what it is but anyway yeah. it's it's a good looking bike it you like it you like riding it I, I really like riding it um it is way more of a cross country that's called our xc bike because the uh, it's not really slacked out in the front uh, you're more of an upright position but it still has a tapered head tube on it you know yeah so and you can get a tapered fork and yeah, yeah. Be pretty beefy okay. you know but i do like that bike a lot but yeah that comes at number, number five, five. The I said, that's not bad that 26 27 bike no no it's a, it's a really good bike um, i know there's a few of our viewers that have them okay now number four coming at number four um, um, it's on the Schwinn list. Oh, it is. It is a Schwinn Aluminum Comp Zerk. Okay, the Comp Zerk. Well, Aluminum Comp. Ours is the Comp Zerker. Yep. Um, 27.5 Aluminum Comp. Number four, baby. Number four. Not bad. Uh, okay. I already know one of the things that you like about that bike. What do I like about it's it? It's a 27.5. It's a 27.5. Exactly. Uh, there's there's a lot of a lot of things to like about it, right? Like. Uh, for that price point of whatever we paid yeah, it for, it was like two twenty four. And we I bought think it. right now it's like two forty eight. No, it's two sixty something. I think it was two forty eight yesterday. We was went to Walmart. It? Yeah. The cool thing about that bike for being two forty eight is it has a tapered head tube. It's a twenty seven five, and it although it doesn't have like the downside to it is it doesn't have a one by. If that bike had yeah. a one by with the seven rear, it would be damn cool, man. Just a, a one by seven. Well, for that price, but if it was a one by and. I, I was gonna say if it had a cassette, but nothing under three hundred mm -hmm. has a cassette. And I think it came with the Micro Shift Twenty Six, uh, not the worst yeah. of group sets, but I think we didn't well, have very I think good luck on that one. Well, that one we didn't. But the thing with that is, some of them had the Shimano, some had the Micro Shift. During the pandemic, it mm -hmm. kind of got weird. It got a Ours weird. had Shimano stickers, but they were the Micro Shift, micro -shift yeah. which was good because I think the Shimano ones were one piece with the brakes. Yes, and the Micro Shift actually micro had shift a separated had separate. brake lever so we and shifter, so that, that was definitely good because we could um, get our upgrade to hydraulic brakes. I think. I think we may have even done that. I don't know. You guys have to go back and check the videos out. But the Aluminum Comp is a good all-around bike. Um, it's a bike that uh, whenever people ask for a cheaper bike that's upgradable, that is maneuverable and really nimble, I always mention the Aluminum Comp if they can get it. It's getting harder and harder to find. I don't know if they're going to phase that bike out or not. But it, having a, a tapered head tube is such a cool-looking bike. Um, it's one of the first ones, too, to actually have that... Uh, we call it like a two tone, you know, because it goes oh, from it black has, to gray. Yeah. The downsides to that bike again is the uh, three by seven, right? That's that's kind of a downside, uh, just because it adds so much weight to that yeah. little frame. And the second downside is that bike. A lot of time in the real time reviews, I always resort back to that bike uh, whenever I have another bike that feels that way. It feels so small in the cockpit. Yeah, that's a tiny. You've always said that. It's so weird. Like if you're like five five, or if you're looking for this, maybe you've got like a daughter or something that's really small, or if you're a little dude, um, you might really want to check this bike out because the cockpit is damn tiny so even though it's a it's an adult bike you think it might even be good for a kid i, I like, think you know I, 10, yeah, 11 12 yeah. year old and the only and the thing that sucks about it too i mean yeah not, this i know what you're gonna say the standover the standover, the standover is not the good standover for a kid, ruins it's like that's the big problem with that bike for me that the, the the three by can be fixed. That standover for that size bike is ridiculous. Yeah, I, I just don't know what they were thinking with that. But it it's an very awesome good bike for climbing. Uh, we've gone downhill with it. We've beat on that bike. Uh, we had the twelve. I mean, everything it's, that we've done to that bike has been kind of one of the go-to bikes. It is a go-to bike. It's a stuff. classic, man. The testing stuff kind of tells you what bikes we like to deal with because those are the bikes we throw parts on and mess with it. Oh, God, I'm afraid of your grin. I don't All right. grin over here. Coming in to third place. Oh, I'm, I'm, Damn, I'm, yeah. Did you Top just five third? hardtails. Third. Third place. That's three. <laughs> okay. Coming in third nice. place is going to be the GT Aggressor Pro. Oh, the hate. Let the hate Let me make sure. in. <laughs> yeah. Let me make sure. Yeah. Let me make sure. Uh, where are we at? The GT. Let the hate begin. 27.5 GT Aggressor Pro. That's right, wow. folks. Third place. Wow, uh, I don't even know where to start on this, except for the fact that there's going to be some hate coming in. Okay, so let's start on the GT Aggressor Pro. The channel okay. started on it, we might as well start on it. Yeah, too. I know it sucks, to, you know, it's a third place, not first, but whatever. The GT Aggressor Pro is a great bike. Um, it's a great platform, in my opinion. That frame is tougher than nails. I mean, the frame, yeah, the, we there's have no gone. one can question that frame. Yeah. I don't care who it's it is. crazy. That frame has been through stuff that I'm going, you even, you've come back going, we got to check this thing, because I just flat. Yeah. 
that yes. landed some major it's, crap. It's, yeah, it's been, I mean, yeah. I've had a crank arm strip on that thing because I've cased so much stuff. I've crashed on it. It's such a tough it's a bike. tough bike. And the reason it got third place was, uh, it, it's a 27.5. It feels really, it's a medium frame, so it feels really good size for me. Um, but with some of these other bikes here recently, it doesn't feel as... Um, uh, maneuverable to me than some of the other ones do. Mm -hmm. And I think part of that's due to the standover height. It doesn't have a great standover height. No, on the it GT doesn't Rest have a great Pro. standover. Although we should, we should one of these days get a small and see if it's any better. Yeah. Um, I just don't want it to be too small I for know, me. Yeah. Um, now the bike does come with either Micro Shift or Shimano. Uh, well, it used to be set. Shimano. Now I think they're all Micro I think it was like a Shimano Altus or something. It used to that was with, ours. It had the uh, 3 in the front and the 7 or 8 it, speed in the back. It was a 3 8 with yeah. cassette. And it was with the cassette, but you pay for that. You know yeah. what I mean? So you're definitely expected to pay. Yeah, I think it. now they're they're getting like $5.99 for them or yeah, something. Yeah, they're getting a little ridiculous. We, right I think now. we got we had a 10% off when we got ours, and we got ours for a little under 400 I think it was 386 but but that's changed. You yeah. Know? Um, it, the, the bike has been a star of the channel, and it's so easy to And it will upgrades. continue to be. That's yeah. not going to change. Yeah, and it does have some upsides, but it had to get third just because um, a lot of the newer stuff coming out, man, it's starting to kind of go down on my list because of just the, um, the, the, the way it feels. It doesn't feel like it's a great downhill bike and it doesn't claim to be but it feels way more no, like it's a cross, it feels more like a cross country bike yeah. but any kind of fork or anything you put on it doesn't really change that feel but one of the things that gets me that limits you is the 34 millimeter headset yeah everybody or says hey put just put the tapered uh, adapter on it but you can't you know, because it's a 34 creep. now had it been a 44 then we could we could do that mm -hmm. um gives you more options yeah that's one of them the, the seat post tubing a 27.2 uh there's no internal routing on it like i said the bike is solid but there are a few drawbacks on it uh all in all it is number three on the list i'm, I'm shocked that it's not at least two yeah, I'm sure. and remember, guys, we want your guys' opinions yeah. on your list. When yeah, you see yeah. all five of these bikes and honorable mention, I want you to see. I wonder how many subscribers we'll lose. I don't know. All right, next. <laughs> Some people are just cutting off right here. <laughs> number two, number two, two, Dems. two is going to be the Schwinn Axum DP. I have mixed feelings about this. The Schwinn Axum DP, such a solid bike. I love this bike. I. I just, as soon as you see this bike, it's like eye candy. It gets so much compliments out in the trails. Everybody it thinks it's way more of a expensive, expensive bike. bike than it is. Uh, it came with a dropper post. It has a big old nasty looking tapered head tube. It has a frame uh, nasty that is a looking. nasty looking, yeah. It's a measured frame. Well, it's it's a medium, yeah. It's a medium. So it is, it is a sized frame. It, did, it came with a cassette. It came with a cassette. Mm -hmm. it, look, there, it's a good bike. And and for five hundred dollars, it's really it's it's a it's a deal. I mean, it's hard to beat it for what it, what it is and what it comes with. But here's a few downsides to it. For one, is for you, that bike's too big. You can say what you want. I've rode with you more when you're on that bike than any other bike we have, mm -hmm. and I've watched you struggle with that bike side. The twenty ers are too big for you, mm -hmm. and I don't like the way it looks when you ride that bike. When you're when you're, I'm talking about when you're hitting and maneuvering and jumping, and yeah. I mean when you're really hitting it hard. When you're on the GT, it looks like you're made for that bike. Mm -hmm. When you're on that one, it looks like you're on someone's bike that you're borrowing. Yeah, because it just does not look like it fits you. And you right. know what though? You got to think about this. And you I, wreck a lot I don't. I don't know if I've gotten enough time on the Axum DP just riding it you know you gotta think about that too you have the well, gt have had you rode of you time. rode nothing but that bike in missouri yeah but if you want to call that riding well that's what i'm saying yeah, that, that, the chain wouldn't stay on there you were wrecking after every five minutes and you, you it wasn't chain staying on there while you're wrecking your wreckage you couldn't handle that bike i'm telling you that bike might be your second it's my second place favorite bike. bike it might be that yeah. that's your opinion that's my fine. opinion but what i'm telling you is if you are going to be racing you would take the GT over that no matter well, good what. Good thing you I'm say. not racing. I'm not trying if, to be I'm a racer. About, if you went and you would do the cat's meow loop, not to time it, but you're going to race somebody. You're not taking that bike. Right? You can you can kind of convince yourself all you want, but you wouldn't take that bike. Yeah. So you the, would take the. You would most likely take the GT. Most likely the GT, but. The Axum DP, um, I, I just love that bike. Now that it is a 29er, the downside is once you get used to 27.5s, that bike um, with the slack and everything that's got, especially going downhill, that thing, like you were saying, gathers speed so fast. Um, I do like the stance of the bike. The standover is not terrible for being a medium frame. It is better than the Schwinn Lumen Comp. Yeah, for a 29er, it is better than the Schwinn Lumen Comp, believe it or not. Now that came with the one by, right? I think it had a 32th up front and an 8-speed in the back with trigger shifters and the cassette. 
Uh, the bars were actually aluminum on that, and it did come with a four bolt stem. There are some features with that, and it came with a uh, lock on grips. You know the uh, Maxim DP, but I think the the coolest yeah. thing with that bike is it came with the um, internally routed dropper post. They can go back and look at any of these initial impressions, real time reviews yeah. on these it bikes. Can, too. It, it had just a lot of features that came with the bike for the price. Now with the internal dropper post, everybody and their brother has problems installing it. It's so hard to install yeah, it's that. Weird. Everybody hits you oh, up on that. Yeah, it's so hard to install. But once you get it, I haven't had an issue with it yet. And the cool thing is it has the um, more expensive of the two as far as the dropper post lever is concerned. Some Something that you usually get with the Trans X or a E10 dropper. There you go. This dropper post uh, lever here. It's got the one that's hidden up underneath the bar. So whenever you crash, which I do a lot on that bike, it hasn't broke yet because it's snuck up underneath there. You know, kind of hidden. Uh, all in all, that's a very tough frame too. I, I beat that frame. I've done a lot of jumping on that bike, and uh, right now the only issue with it is. We do have a new chain ring, I believe, a narrow wide chain ring because we could not keep the chain from falling off. Um, so we're gonna have to do the upgrade with it and then you'll probably be seeing that more on the channel. But that bike right now is one of those bikes that every time we go out to film, it's like I always regret not bringing it just to ride it because I love the way that bike yeah. feels. Okay, so before we do number one, you wanna do the honorable mention? Yeah, let's mention? do the honorable mention. Got this bike, this bike. Okay, that's enough. Honorable mention, hardtail. This bike is such a fun bike to ride. I love taking this bike out, whether it be uh, in the snow. No, you don't. It is the Mongoose Malice, 26 yeah. inch. I love that bike. You do, and every time you're riding that bike, you have an, an ear to ear grin. It's so fun. You're actually, I don't know if you've ever been in a bad mood while being on that bike, which I should just make you ride that bike daily so I could deal with you better. Yeah, no, no. Because no. you're always in a good mood when you're riding yeah, that bike. Yeah, that's my fishing buggy. I love that bike. Now, the, uh, the reason it's an honorable mention is because, you know, it's what we said, it, it's so fun. And for it being a fat tire, I love it because, of course, we don't have a, um, a suspension fork on it. We've got that triple tree fork on there. And what's fun about it is you get to play with your tire pressure so it's much and, and get to really feel how much of your suspension you're using with your tube and your big old tires. It's an awesome bike. Got it from Academy. I've uh, got the rear rack on there. Got my headlight on there now. And we had to get hydraulic. You love it when we're camping. Yes, had to get hydraulic brakes. If you have that bike, please go out and do yourself a favor. Get some hydraulic brakes for it because that thing is heavy and it is hard to slow down. It's a tank. Uh-huh, yeah. Interesting with that uh, bike is we're still rocking the uh, Shimano Tourney 7-speed with the twist shifters Which ball. surprised me, but you're like, listen, this is the first time in your life you've said it, so it shocked me and I've always stuck with you on it. You said, well, really, it works good, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I was like, yeah, you are not the person to ever not that have guy. that. No, yeah. never. But anyway, uh, that bike is one of our favorites, so I had to get honorable mention. It gets so many looks, uh, much like all these other bikes do, and everybody freaks out when they see that big old fork coming their way. You know, yeah, the big old tires yeah, and all that. Yeah. And just like, what is that? I want to yeah. ride it right now. But. Yeah, see, you get all excited. I know. Okay, guys, uh, so honorable mention, the well, Malice. Yeah, and before we get to number one, let's go ahead and recap real quick. So whenever we get, uh, we get a new fork, or we get a, you know some kind of group set or something. We have to decide what bike we're going to test it on. And normally, like a fork, to me, it's automatically whenever a fork comes in that we need to test, it's almost if it's a 29er and it's tapered, it goes right to the Axon Axon DP. DP, we're getting it. Um, and then if we get a fork come in that's a 27.5 non-tapered, it goes right to the GT Gresser Pro. Mm -hmm. If we get one that comes 27.5 that's tapered, it usually goes to the aluminum comp Zerker. And the Ascension has also been the one that we've tested group set on and then we went ahead it worked so good we left it on there yeah that the, was that was the ax11 the lt lt woo or AX l2 11. either yeah. one let's go ahead and just leave it and it looks mm -hmm. good and it works good so we haven't done a lot with it we need to take it out though and do something with it soon but anyway but the other bike that sometimes we test things out on is, yes I, I'm, I'm guessing is your number one we haven't talked about it but i'm guessing it is is my Iowa Mongoose Ardor Project Ron Burgundy. There is my list, and there she is in number one. Ron Burgundy. No one can read your handwriting anyway. That's pretty good handwriting, actually. 27.5 and the number one spot, guys. This bike. I don't think it's a surprise to the Wolf Tick Nation. I think no. they all pretty much know. Now, on this bike, one of the things I'm going to say right off the bat is for $300, it's really hard to beat. Uh, although everything on it's trash pretty much in all fairness just yeah. about yeah 
<laughs> Except for it's a one by. And I will say the crank set right now is going to be need to be changed on it yeah. because it was starting to creak and crack uh, on the last video when we did the box group set. And, uh, and I do not believe it has a sealed cartridge. No, it's got that terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, the Mongoose Ardor 27.5 had to be my number one spot because the standover is great. The nimbleness, the quickness, the feel, the climbing, everything geometry, on that bike, the geometry. Bit, the, the slack. Oh, it feels like when you are jumping with it, when you're going downhill, when you're climbing. If that is the first bike I think I've ridden where I felt one with the bike. You yeah. know, I felt like, man, I'm a part of this bike. It's glued to me. Um, even when it was crappy. I mean, even even when yeah, it was you enjoy, You set the record when it was crappy on the yeah. time run. Yeah, I mean, guys, uh, the Mongoose Ardor, man, if you guys can find one, that bike is so much fun if you're a smaller guy. I'm not sure how it would do for bigger riders, but uh, that yeah, bike I is would, awesome. I, I'm, I'm guessing that anybody that's over 5'9 would not be good on that bike, and 5'9 yeah. is pushing it. Yeah, um, it's just such a cool bike. I really don't have any complaints with it. Um, although, I mean, just like all these bikes, when they're uh, brand new and we haven't done any upgrades to them, of course, you're going to have a lot of negatives and things like that to say. But the number one thing that I look for when I'm riding a mountain bike, I want to um, I want to feel like that bike's a part of me. Like, I, I, can, I know every part of that bike is going to be safe when I take a turn. I skid out the back end, taking a turn, or I just, whenever I am, uh, when I'm riding, that's what I want. I want to feel fully confident with that bike and with the door like I can stop in the park I can jump with that bike I can do anything I want to with it you know mm -hmm. it's not a it's not a bad frame it's it's been pretty tough thus far I don't uh, know if I feel the same about the frame as I do like the GT but I feel like it's yeah. I'm confident in saying that it should hold up for a little bit. Yeah, it should hold up for a little bit. Uh, it does have an in it's internally routed with a dropper post, internals um, for mm -hmm. the dropper. The cables and all that, um, as far as your brakes and your shifter cable and all that, I don't really like the way that they've chose to mount it on the frame. I think it's a little tic-tac-y. It, it kind of seems like your, your crap's going to fall off. They give you the C-clips, and mm -hmm. then some of them are just completely open, so we had to add some of our uh, our little cable ties that Berserker sent us on there. But um, for the most part, it's got some pretty cool stuff to it and i think if anybody were to get that bike and start upgrading it, i think they would fall in love with the with the ardor you yeah know? project ron burgundy one of my favorite bikes my favorite bike right now so that answers all you guys' questions everybody goes what's your favorite bike what's your yeah. favorite bike well here and you go for the longest time it was the gt it had to be the gt you yeah. know just because how much riding time and seat time guys let us know your list and uh, as always guys we appreciate you watching wolf Tick videos if you guys would like to support the channel um even more so than just watching please give a big old thumbs up please Please give a uh, subscribe, subscription, <laughs> subscribe. Give, give, a, give a subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Comment if you guys want to comment. Uh, if you guys would like to uh, help and support with also us purchasing some more bikes, you guys can feel more than free to go down below and uh, check out the Buy Cup of Coffee that link. That keeps the parts coming in, keeps the uh, keeps the bikes, reviews of the bikes keeps coming. Keeps the channel rolling. Yeah. It just goes right back into the channel. So uh, you guys can do that. And if you want to see one of our uh, Patreon builds that we're working on right now, we just got some Metal Flake in Or some more it. exclusive content or un edited footage or some of our truck talk or something yes, like that. Yes, if you want to be like the captain's cog or old Dayford, the man, whoop whoop, uh, mm -hmm. you guys can become a patron and check out that as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, man, guys, we will see you on the next one. I think the next one might have mail time. I'm not sure, but yeah, be on the lookout for it. We'll see you guys then. Yeah.